Howdy, Saturnomi Corporal Saturn here, and welcome back to Pokemon Sinking Sapphire. Uh, last time we basically had a story interlude, and now we're ready to go on. So I should mention that you can go into Mount Pyre and go on to at least the first part of the summit before you trigger any story events. So if you want to do that, you can go ahead and do that. Um, but um, another thing is, uh, we got some encounters we have to go over, so I'll go ahead and do that now. Inside Mount Pyre itself, on the first floor you can find uh, Zubat here, which is a fast physical attacker. You've got your mask here, which is a strong... It, it hits pretty hard physically, it's got good defenses and good HP, but it's very slow and it has the unique ability Mummy. Um, which... Which is kind of interesting, it spreads on, uh, with physical contact attacks. Um, it's not bad, it's, and it's actually... Your mask itself is quite good, I'd recommend using it if you've never tried it before. We've got Litwick here, which is a ghost fire type, which is a special sweeper of sorts. Uh, its speed isn't... The, is it like it's not like super high, but it's high enough. Um, it it's a very good special attacker. I used it in my black and white playthrough, and I almost used one in this let's play, uh, but it didn't quite make the mark since I wanted to use Pokemon I'd never really used before. You can also find Duskull, which is really more bulky. It's a really kind of a more bulky ghost type. It's definitely not bad. Um, this one has incident ability, which is nice. But uh, yeah, definitely go for it. You can also get Algium, which is a special attacker with a lot of HP. Special Act is pretty high, um, I don't really know enough about Elgium to really recommend it. It's a Psychic type, it, it's, um, I don't know, for, just judging by these stats, it looks fairly decent, so I guess try it. Alright, and then on the sec and on the third and fourth floor, you can find the Evolve form of all the Pokemon we've previously talked about, um, including some, you know, Evolve forms of Pokemon we've talked about, not just here, but in other places as well. Um, you can also find, on the first floor, I should also mention, you can also find Gothita, Ghastly, and Ralts, um, and also Solosis, which I already had, so, uh, yeah, that's that. Alright, and we're back. Um, another thing is that there are a lot of, uh, just trainers and people here who have come to pay respects to their Pokemon. Um, I don't believe there are any, I think, there's also a lot of wild Pokemon, obviously. Um, but, they're not the main attra- <laughs> I'm planning- it's funny, Elgim was the one Pokemon when I was get, looking for this Pokemon, it was the one that I could not find, and now they're, they're just common as hell. Um, there are some trainers in here, obviously, and they're pretty powerful. Um, so this is a pretty good place to grind, I would say, if you feel like you need to. Um, Alright, so this is a Psychic Steel type, alright. Alright, and we're back. Sorry about that. Yeah, I battled her when I tried to go upstairs. Uh, it's a good idea to have repels in this place, if you don't want to run into Pokemon, obviously. <clears throat> Alright, so then on the second floor here, you can find the same mods as on the first floor. There are... You know, there's just more people paying their res paying their respect, and I forgot to put up a repel because I'm a fucking idiot. Alright, after this battle. After this battle, I will. This has four floors. It is a little bit worth your while to explore. On this place up uh, because I think you get like you get a couple really good items it's not quite as large as it was in the earlier games in the series uh, well I mean in the in its and it's in the original Ruby Sapphire Emerald this place is a lot bigger um, and uh, you know as a result there was more stuff there Let's see talk just a lot of people are talking about how you know the memories they have this how it's the, uh, these two are a couple. Yep. Took care of those two, no problem. I think I'm gonna put Swampert back at the front of the or Cohen back at the front of the party, uh, because he's still a little bit behind the rest of the team. He caught up really fast, but he still needs to do a little bit of catching up. I wonder why cemeteries are built. Hmm. That's interesting. Oh, and there's my dog. All right. So the second, uh, the second floor has the same as similar encounters to the first floor, but I'll probably have already gone over them. So this man's asleep. These two are paying their respects. I know I battled this backpacker guy. I battled her. I think. What the fuck? I want to see dreadful things. I can't leave. Stay. I want you to. Mm. And then there's these two. 
Again, another another battle made very quick work of these two trainers. Okay, so that's everything that of any importance on this floor. Let's just keep going up. And here we have a text inscribed on a tombstone honoring a deceased person. Or Pokemon is called an epitaph. I'm constantly going Oh my god, what a tool. And up here we have I think Shadow Ball and a Mega Stone to our right. So I don't think any anyone in our team I think maybe I don't think anyone can learn Shadow Ball if someone can. Uh, oh yeah, uh, Clefable. I might teach that to Clefable because we really only have, we really don't have an accurate way of dealing with ghost types. Uh, so let's see. I opted to get rid of Stored Power, um, and I'm gonna eventually get rid of Cosmic Power because they, they, they kind of help, but it, you know it requires a lot of setup, and that's just not something that you know it, it, at the end of the end of the day it's not the most worth the thing in the world. So. And we got our Metachamite. And that is all of Inside Mount Pyre. Let's see what these guys have to say. It's not good enough yet. Final resting place that my, that my Pokemon, Meow and I, will be in. This is not good enough. It's just, this whole place has this just weird air of creepiness to it. And it's very, very unsettling. Anyway. Um, back on the third floor is actually the way we want to go to get out of here. Because uh, now we're on the Mount Pyre Summit area. Um... The only new Pokemon we can find here is Chingling, uh, which evolves in the Chimeco, and that doesn't have very much of a static bunch of a stack crease to talk about at all. Its it base HP goes, I think its its attack goes down and its speed or one of its defenses go up. Um, so, like I said, nothing to really sneeze at. Um, and then on the second part of the summit is where we can find evolved forms. Uh, there's an HM down there or TM down there. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. We got Will-O-Wisp. It's a pretty good move. I don't think I'll be really, you know... I don't think I'll be using it on any of my Pokemon, but it's very good for competitive play. Um... Yeah, we'll just we'll spray another repel, I guess. And as you see, as we get closer to the summit... We, uh... This, the, you'll see fog start to, uh, appear. Now... And this, this this place is a lot, it's a lot bigger than it, than it was in the previous generations. Some of these graves have items, so you're kind of like looting graves, which is a little bit disrespectful. But um, you know who doesn't like free shit? I know I do. And as we go up here, we are at the very top of the summit. Now, ah, oh, I thought you could break those with Rock Smash, but those are just I think drawings. Yep. Anyway, we got some Team Aqua Grunts here, so you know what we gotta do. We gotta beat some ass. Hey, I remember you from Mount Chimney. It's payback time. All right, you wanna run hands? I think it's time to. I think. I think we. I think we. Should, I think we need to run hands, my boy. All right, we beat him. So most of the fight, most of the, I think all of these Team Aqua fights are gonna be. Let's see if I can. Can't. Nope. Oh. What's up with you, Brett? Is a single kid expected? What does a single kid expect to do? Alright, so yeah, I'm just gonna cut the uh, the rest of the grunt battles. Alright, we beat this to Michael Grunt. Easy peasy. Cohen took it out with one attack. And to our right and left, uh, well, first off, the elephant in the room is this Mega Stone. You can see there's a lot of Pokemon up here. Let's go ahead and spread another repel because. Get on here. Huh. Well, actually, something interesting. I think if we go in here, yep. That we can so this weird. Actually, doesn't I could have sworn like a ghost or something pops up behind you. That's a Chimeco. All right, I'm not gonna be look actively looking for the rest of the Pokemon because I can technically get the re get the ones that I need through evolution. Um, I was just you know, I just got the Chimeco because it was already right there. And we go to our left, I believe there's, there's just these four graves. And I think, I don't think all of them have items, but I'm going to check a couple. Nope, okay, it just, it, it's just that one. Probably should have gathered that. Anyway, further up, there's one more grunt. And we're going to, we're going to sneak him up, we're going to sneak up on him from behind. All right, there's that, and if I'm not mistaken, I think there's I think there's a battle with 
um, Archie or this other muscle head. So there's two orbs on the top there, and Archie takes what looks like the blue one. Yo, I thought something was a bit noisy, but it. And who is it? But the usual scam. Sorry, skateboard friend, I don't have time to play with you just now. The blue orb that's been long and trying here at Mount Pyre, it belongs to Team Aqua now. Matt! Oh. So there is a battle. Yep, looks like we are going to battle someone named Matt. And then it looks like him and his boys are going to Slayport City. But, not before we have a battle with Team Aqua Admin Matt. Who... Jesus. Looks like he could tear us into asshole. Anyway, he's gonna lead off with a Golduck. Um, he's only got four Pokemon, so this match won't be the hardest in the world, but Golduck's, I think it's level, yeah, level 53. Alright, I am going to hard switch into Victory Bell. Because I don't think this thing probably has Ice Beam, and it'll probably use Ice Beam, but it's fine. Hydro Pump, okay. So that's good. Easy peasy. Um, let's just hit this thing with a power whip for now. I'm, I am, I decided I'm probably gonna get rid of Cut and teach it a better, just teach this thing a better attack. Um, our next is gonna be Blastoise. I imagine that Blastoise will probably be a, oh my god. Sorry about that cut there, my mom actually called. It was kind of important, so we need to get that out of the way. Anyway, um, I don't remember what I was saying, but, uh... I don't remember, but yeah, so we'll just keep going with this fight. Looks like it's gonna be really easy. Um, I might have actually overgrinded, but that's fine. Since, you know, in the past I've been having trouble with these. But, um, Barbarical, this is... So I guess, his, was his ace the... No. No, his ace was the Blastoise, yeah, it was level 55. And all of his Pokemon get wrecked. I think Shelly gave me a much harder time than Matt than Matt is. Why do I feel like that? Why do I feel like that inherently has some kind of weird sexual connotation? And then he just throws and then he throws a Ferrothorn into the mix to fuck me up. Okay. Firefly will be hopefully be, will hopefully be able to make very quick work of Ferrothorn here. Let's go let's just use Heat Wave. And dead. Boom. Wow, that battle was fun enough. It was fun, though I lost. I had 5,500 for winning. That was fun. I knew you'd show me a good time. Pause. I look forward to, I look forward to facing you again someday. Well, shit. I... Me, what a disaster. The blue orb stolen from our safekeeping. The blue and the red orb must never be separated. They belong together. Hmm. I will entrust you the remaining... Why? So just some random straight they're gonna get you're gonna give the red orb to some random stranger that you just met. You touch it and then this weird heartbeat thing happens. We got a red orb. Which in this game, they got downgraded from a key item to an item. So let's see what the uh let's see what the red orb does. A shiny red orb that has so yeah it doesn't doesn't really do anything but, but we can't we could give it to we can have Pokemon hold it anyway um <coughs> we are done here um uh, we are done on Mount Pyre and before we end things off I want to fly back to Lily Cove there's actually one thing I forgot to mention when I when we got here last time. And that is, if you go up, it, you go up as if you're going to the store, but you keep going left, there's a museum here. He's an art dealer who buys and sells paintings. And there's just all these sculptures here and stuff. A lot more variety than what was in the previous iteration of this museum. So he's he wants to just, he wants to put something different on the second floor, and 
I don't know what he would want us to put there. But maybe, maybe if we come back later, we'll see if we can figure it out. Anyway, that's just kind of there. Don't know if there's anything super important in there. I actually am almost positive that there isn't. But, um, another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of cut on my victory bell. Even though cut is base 70 power in this game and it's really good, um, I don't need cut and power whip and I'd rather have power whip over cut since cut doesn't seem to have any secondary effects. And we'll find another move to teach um, victory bell. I think I can get it knock off through level up, which would be pretty awesome. Some team aqua grunts here. Don't go near the knee. Well, we'll have to go near the cave and the cove. Looks like. But anyway, I think I think that's gonna do it for today. So that's gonna end today's mission. Your next mission, should you choose to accept it, just leave a like and a comment on this video. Uh, answer the question of the day, please, please, please. But with all that being said, I am gonna get up out of here. Peace.